Hey everybody. Uh, if you've been keeping track, we are in the middle of doing a five-speed conversion on our Project Miata, Project Spring Break. Um, the last piece I was waiting on was the radiator, because I wanted to put a new radiator in it, and I wanted to go to an aluminum one that way in case I decide to put nitrous on the car or turbo it. I could stand up to it. We finally got it in. Like I said in my previous video about flushing it, this was a DNA Motorsports aluminum radiator. Came in, we flushed, everything's fine. But I just wanted to compare it to the stock one show you that there are a few differences here and there and then we'll put it in the car mount it up show you how everything works uh, obviously the first difference you'll notice is this is an automatic one this is the stock automatic one you don't have the trans cooler lines um, something that happened whenever i was actually taking the old fans off some of the feet broke loose but these are the stock fans and once i get those bolts broken off where they came loose Everything lines up. Once I get it situated, everything lines up like it's supposed to, all the bolt holes, everything. Uh, filler necks are in the same spot. One thing that is different, if you notice, is this one to hold the overflow tube down had a little bracket, like a pinch bracket. But this one actually has a little slotted bracket. Um, this one does not have did not come with these stock the little rubber bushings you can just take those off put them in here everything else looks exactly the same these tanks on the bottom are the big difference if you notice how much thicker just by looking this versus this is and that's because the core is thicker too it's a lot thicker this bracket right here i feel like it should go in more see how there's like a gap here and over here it's like straight but that may be something once we get it in the car, it may be that way on purpose, or it may just be needed to tap with a hammer or a mallet to put back. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take measure, and we'll measure the cores, everything, show you how much different it really is. All right, guys, so measuring the radiator, the end tank on the bottom is, uh, like two and a half, we'll say. And on the stock one, it's right at two, so you're getting a half inch of thickness on your end tanks. All right, guys, the face from there to there is right at 25 inches. And on this one, the face is 25 inches. So it's same face, a little bit more thicker from the top to the bottom up there. From the top, the bottom is like 16 and a half. Yeah. From the top to the bottom here, 16 and a half. Okay, so now the thickness of the core itself, try and do this here. All right, so the core itself is right at basically two and a half, like two and a quarter, somewhere in there. And then on your stock one, you're gonna have basically uh, not even two inches like an inch and a half just a big difference in thickness in the core and that's where your extra cooling ability comes from not only the material of it but the extra extra thickness of the core so what that means is since this is thicker I'm going to, have to trim the hose hoses to fit better so now that we've got everything measured and got it flushed everything's ready to go we will put it in the car and see how it fits up in the car 